Hello reception, I hope you're keeping happy and safe inside your home. Today I've decided that we should make a supermarket in our room in our house. Just like the supermarket in Super Tato. For your supermarket, you will first need to think of a name. I think I'm going to call my supermarket Turner Food. Okay, you're of course going to have to write the name down or people aren't going to know what your supermarket is called. If you get a piece of paper, you can stick up your sign for your supermarket on the wall. Make sure not to use glue like you do in Scott class sometimes, so maybe just use some cell tape, but make sure to ask your mum and dad before you stick anything on the walls. I'm going to call my supermarket Turner Food. I'm going to listen to the sounds I need. T -t -ter. What sound do I need for Turner's food? T -t -ter. I need a t -t 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 -er. Er. N -er. Er. Turner's food. Food. Turner's food. I'll write how you actually spell underneath. Turner's. Turner's food. Okay. I've got my sign. What else do I need to make my room into a supermarket? I'm going to insert a picture of a supermarket so that you can have a look to see what a supermarket looks like. Here's a picture here. What do we need inside the supermarket? Stop the video and have a look. What do we need inside the supermarket? Have you had a look? Oh, you're telling me too many things. I have an idea. Stop the video and write down a list of all the things we need in our supermarket so we remember when we're building it. If you don't know how to write the word, listen to the sounds. If you're really struggling, you can draw a picture. Stop the video and write everything you need. Off you go. Okay. Have you got your list? My list is, hmm, let me just rub off our title. What do we need in our shop? We need some food, but we're not gonna be able to sell anything. We need some food, what else do we need? We need some aisles. Aisles. Did you notice in the picture that all the food was in straight blocks? It wasn't all messy and lying on the floor. We need aisles. What else do we need? We need a till. How else will people buy food in our shop? Have you noticed when I'm writing my list that I've got bullet points all the way down the side and I'm writing it underneath each other so that I can read my list very easily. What else might I need in my shop? I need a price list or I'm not going to know how much things are. I'll write that down too. Okay, I've got my list of all the things I need. Let's show you how to write a price list. So, a price list lets you know how much all the food is. So if you have a look at this picture, you can see there's numbers underneath the food. That's how much money you have to pay in order to buy the food. I'm gonna show you how to write your own price list. Watch. This means pounds. Pounds. And that 
is what you need to put in front of any number so that you can see how much it costs. So imagine I'm selling this apple and I have this apple sitting on my shelf. I'm going to have to make a little tag so that I can see this apple is one pound. So this reads one pound. I can write that on a little piece of paper just like I saw in the picture so I know this one little apple is one pound. To write a price list, we need to make it look like this. So this price list shows me everything in the shop and how much it costs. So, in my shop, I want to sell some chocolate, some apples and some bananas. Let's make a price list together. Watch. At the top we write, Price list. Price list. Are you ready? Price list. Okay. I'm going to sell. What did I say? Do you remember? Ch ch chocolate. And ah, ah, apples. Chocolate apples and b -b bananas. Okay, how much do I want my chocolate to cost? Hmm, I think two pounds so watch there's my pound symbol two pounds how much do i want my apples to cost one pound and how much do i want my bananas to cost i think i'll make them cost one pound as well now i can stick up my price list so that people know how much everything is in my shop. And now it's the fun part. Go into your kitchen or see if you can find anything in your bedroom that you would like to sell in your shop. Make your shop in the living room and make sure that your shop has a title. Like I've shown you, your supermarket needs to have a title of what it's called and a price list. If you want, you could write me an invitation so that I can come and look at your shop and maybe come and buy something. We have so much to do for English this afternoon. You're going to be very busy. I'm excited to see your price list and the names that you come up with for your shop. Once you've opened it, maybe you can play in your shop with some of the people that live in your house. Make sure that your shop has lots of different foods in it so that lots of people can buy lots of different foods. Maybe you can sort the foods into the different groups that we've already looked at. Carbohydrates, proteins, fruit and vegetables, dairy and fats and sugars. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye!